college football and home of high expectations in year three of the Jimbo Fisher era. It's the Aggies playing host to the Vanderbilt Commodores. Mike Morgan with highs at the line. The line to strength this Aggies defense on third and long draw play big hole left side. And it's Marlowe racing out of bounds near midfield at the 48. Yeah. He, he actually runs with the DBs and the wideouts in practice from 33 out. Perfect. And Vanderbilt, what an impressive opening drive, gets on the board first. He's just, just different than in his senior year. On first down, Mon rifles it complete to 39. Breaking one tackle and racing down the sideline, trucking defenders inside the 40. And finally brought down is Anias Smith. What a catch and run by the sophomore out of Sugarland, Texas. Yeah, what you like as a quarterback and as a coach is that he catches the ball, gets right up the field. There's no wasted movement. It's a you hit it vertically, and then I'm going to get just physical with everybody. And then you love that at the end. Commodores, four man front, not second and ten. Mon, little pitch play to the near side. Past the 20, inside the 10, lunging for the end zone, touchdown! Anaya Smith, what a run! I thought earlier Vanderbilt was going to go to it when they were down in the red zone against Texas A&M. On their initial drive, well, it's A&M that comes back with the option. Nice, quick decision by Kellen Mond. And then the rest, Smith just showing his athletic ability, getting him into the end zone. Okay. Boy, boy. Big shoes to fill there. With time, Seals uncorks a deep ball, and it's somehow caught. What a magic reception there by Abdur Rahman, who oh, reels it in in front of Fuller. Excellent throw. Nice job of working and stopping as you're rolling, just stopping to try. Great leg from 50 and in. Snap is good, hold is true, and it will hook left. Plenty of distance, just started hooking on it. Continuing to spread it around. Mond out of the shotgun. With time over the middle, complete. That's Chase Lane with his second catch. Young man out of Houston, Texas. He has really come on from a hamstring injury that he suffered early in camp, but this is the receiver that Kellen Mon. A loss of a couple on the play. Second and 12. Five in the pattern for Mon. Goes underneath, completes it to his big tight end, Weidermeyer. And Weidermeyer, all 6'5, 265 of them, bangs his way to a couple of extra yards. Here. Third and 13. Three man rush by Vandy. Mon has it knocked out of his hand. That might be a free ball. Scooped up by Vanderbilt. And brought down at the 46-yard line. We'll see what they call on the play, but it's Mintz scooping up the football. Seat because you don't know what move he's going to pull out at that particular time. He's going to field this one in the end zone. He's thinking about taking it out. Oh, he's going. Forget about a touchback. And not a good decision that he's wrapped up at the 10-yard line. Go through During the, the ball. Personal foul. Blindside block, number 16 of the receiving team. The foul occurred in the end zone. By rule, the result of the play is a safety. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. He's able to get off the field on his, on his own. Third and two. Vandy's been good on third down tonight, but not this time. Stonewalled at the line of scrimmage. I thought Seals should have kept that one. Mike. They get the ball first, and they can fix things in a hurry. And that might help improve their first half stats. First half. Mond out of the shotgun. Feeds the tailback, cutting back. This is Spiller. Spiller weaving his way through traffic in the open field. Spiller with one man to beat. Down the 40, past the 30, and inside the 20-yard line. Finally knocked out of bounds by Maxwell Worship. Well, you go to guys that have made plays for you. A fantastic job by the offensive line. A little zone blocking, and it allows Spiller the cutback lanes. And then it's just all 
Isaiah Spiller in the open field. Power speed. Now second down and nine. Mond gets out of traffic. Tosses underneath at the 10. Five. Touchdown. Caleb Chapman. Well, you go all the way back to the open, and we talked about Kellen Mond being able to make plays off schedule. He gets flushed from the pocket. Nice job by Chapman of just finding an area. Of the drive continues for the Commodores. Under 10 minutes to play third quarter. Seals. Intercepted. First mistake of the game for Ken Seals. Damani Richardson was there, and I'm not sure where Ken Seals or what Ken Seals was hoping to find there. I'm on third down. This is third and seven. Mon out of the gun. Completes it up the 13. Nifty move by Preston, who will find first down yardage and then some. Jalen Preston. Right, this is a guy you love. Now 11 of 19, 137 yards on the night, and he can do this as well. He can run, but he can fumble as well. He dropped it, coughed it up, and Vanderbilt has recovered. Boy, I tell you, it's been a just a give and take by Texas A&M for every great play they have or good play they have. There's something. That rears its ugly head. They're going to take a look now at it. It's third down and 11. Four wide formation. The freshman seals. Goes underneath. Complete. And that will be good for a first down. Abdur Rahman with his third grab of the night. Here, Abdur Rahman on a crossing route. And a nice job of improvising. Boy, so close for Buddy. A whole lot of body fat on that frame. Another third down of the drive. Third and five. Seals on a rollout. Looking deep. End zone. Caught it. Touchdown. What a throw. And another grab by Abdur Rahman. How about the throw from the true freshman quarterback, Ken Seals? And this is on the move. And he puts it about the only place that he could put it for it to be a completion. Running out of room over the outstretched hands of the defender. Of course, the game going on simultaneous to ours. South Carolina, Tennessee. Mon over the middle completes. One of his best passes of the night as he missiles that one to Cam Brown. What a big catch earlier in the first half, but this is just a slant, and he let he allows it to get into the second window. He can hit a receiver right out of his break in the first one. Spiller takes it left side, breaks a tackle at the 40. Inside the 30 and tripped up at the 15-yard line. Finally brought down by Randall Haney. Boy, second and one. It's Spiller time. Nice job up front by the Aggie offensive line. And, hey, he's shaking tacklers. And a nice job in terms of his speed. Seth Small, the junior. And he is true on this one. Well, the Aggies settle for three and lead it by five. A lot to like about this Aggies defense. Third and six. High throw reeled in, but short of the first down on the reception by Marlin. Isaiah Spiller seven yards away from 100. And this time, it's going to be Anias Smith on the carry. Boy, does he got some wiggle in his game. Made that switch from wide receiver right before the Texas Bowl last year. And keeping it on the ground this time. It's Spiller breaking free. Over 100 yards on the night. And down to the 41-yard line in plus territory. Tripped up by Jerkins. Boy, I tell you what, what an excellent job. He's just a smooth runner. Smooth and powerful. Nice cut there. And almost they seemed to snake bite somebody every year first and 15 a little slant and reeled in by Jalen Preston the sophomore ball squirts out well, it looks like they what may is be the rolling it down but it may be worth a look initially I thought they called him down I don't 
don't think they're going to snap it. Not yeah. with him being under center. Wakefield wow. behind him. They do snap it, and it's play action to Wakefield. First down, beautiful call by Todd Fitch, the <laughs> OC, and beautiful execution by the Commodore is in the red zone. With time, seals now, no time, brought down. That's when you got to be coached up to the point of, hey, get rid of it. You get to the top of your drop, the way come back on third down. First AM sack of the night. Third and 17 over the middle. Tipped up in and intercepted. Picked off by Leon O'Neill. O'Neill knocked out of bounds near uh, the 40, 15. and that might be a late flag. It is indeed a frustration penalty on Vanderbilt, and now tempers flaring on the sideline. Chris Pierce took an extra shot, and that'll help the Aggies get some more yardage. He's going for it on fourth and one. Mon hands it to Spiller, oh fumbled football. I believe Vandy's got it. A lot of people tuning in right now that never would have thought this would be a one possession game in the fourth quarter. Third and 11, and the Aggies get a sack. No answer for Michael Clemens, the junior college transfer. They have raved about the fall camp that Michael Clemens has had. Consider one of the best jun junior college pass rushers coming out a couple of years ago. He did tonight down in Baton Rouge, or today rather, down in Baton Rouge. Mon on third and five, and wide open in the flat is Preston, and he'll lunge forward for some extra yardage, but move the chains for the Aggies. That clock will stop. I don't think many people thought this would be a five-point game. Aggies are going to win it, but they are going to escape in a lot of ways. Derek Mason still fired up. The Commodores, a valiant effort on the road against a top-10 team, but Texas A&M really picked it up offensively, Andre, in the second half. Yeah, they did. I mean, you, you got Spiller going. Anaya Smith made some plays. Kellen Mond through the air. He made... You know, some plays with Je with uh, Jalen Preston. Uh, Caleb Chapman may be the go-to receiver at 6'5", 195, certainly down in the red zone. And then you had Cam Brown step up. So some young players starting to surround their veteran quarterback in Kellen Mond.